hi again <laughs> talking about technology and how i am so ignorant about technology i pressed the wrong button on my camera and stopped recording again well we're back part two we'll see if we can get it done in part two or if it's gonna go a few other parts <laughs> oh, lord oh my gosh y'all so sorry i was checking something and i pressed a button and my camera went off i'm like are you kidding me are you kidding me no <laughs> I seem to be saying that a lot. Like, no! The other day, I was practically in tears. Like, practically in tears. Because just my day, it was all about technology. My computer was crashing on me. My printer wasn't working. Like, everything that I was trying to do just was so difficult. And I, I don't know if you, all, if you all deal with this. But sometimes I feel like, I'm like, am I the only one that this keeps happening to like I feel like like everyone else is just like oh it's so easy you just do this 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 and this blah 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 and you know it's like press this button press this button it's so easy and then I try it and it's like what is easy about this because I am having a difficult time this is not working for me not working and I just don't know I don't know you know so I feel like sometimes I'm just the clueless one around here Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more. I love these napkins. If you do not have these kind of napkins, y'all, I don't know where to get them. Any kind of napkins. I love just nap napkin decoupaging. It's a great way to get a bunch of stuff on your page. Super easy, super quick. Let's put this down here. And look, I'm just slopping it on. You can really just, it really doesn't take a lot. get you there just wanted to add some pink up there let's see what else um I do have this napkin as well we could add some of these these might go cool I'm just gonna tear a little might go good with the circles I don't like that like rough edge or sharp edge right there. So I'm going to tear this a little bit. Like I said, this is going to be a mixed media page. So we might as well make it really mixed, really media. Let's put. Some right there. But anyway. Anywho, <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. You know, thank y'all so much for sticking with me over the years. I was looking at some of my old videos and, you know, I was so concerned at my first videos to be like, oh my gosh, everything's got to be perfect. I can't make a mistake. It's going to be on tape, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and that's another thing. One of my friends jokingly said, oh my gosh, you're the only one I know who still says tape. Like... You know, it's not tape, it's, you know, we film, we video, we, you know, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm from the tape era where we tape things, where we used to tape things. And so, you know, I was getting hassled for that. And I'm just like, well, you know, it is what it is. But anyways, so yeah, my first few videos, I was always so concerned about everything being perfect. And I couldn't make a mistake on film and all that. And now it's like, oh, whatever, y'all know. I'm like a disaster on camera. <laughs> so we might as well keep it real. I'm all about being real. I mean, why Why not? I mean, let's put that one over here. Why do this if we're not going to be real? I don't know. I know we live in the like social media age where everybody's like all trying to show a certain persona or whatever. But this is mine, y'all. I am who I am. Okay, where do we want... Maybe we'll just kind of, I just want a little bit over here just to kind of continue the, the mojo, <laughs> the, the feeling of what I'm doing. I'll just let that go right there. These little circles continue the 
continuity of both pages. Okay, so let me move this because I know I'm gonna do something with that. Let's dry that real quick, just briefly. I'm trying to go fast because we've got a lot of layers to do. So this might be a long video. We'll see. Again, if you don't like the crinkles, you can take a little craft iron and iron out your pages. But I like the crinkles because it gives it like some texture to the page. So those are the napkins I use. So I'm going to move those to the side because I think I'm done. I might put some on top. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'll put those to the side just in case. In the meantime, while that, I'm going to let that dry a little bit. So let me um, adjust, move this out of the way. In the meantime, I do have these dragonflies, and th this is going to be one of, um, like, a page topper. So I have these extra circles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this circle to here and cut it out. So then I have a backing to this circle, which makes it a little bit stronger. I did print these off on a little bit harder of a card stocky type paper, if that's even a word, card stocky. <laughs> um, just so it would have a little bit more heft to it versus like just regular copy paper, which I usually print on. Um, I figured this would give it a little bit more weight to it. I mean, it's not that heavier. I mean, you can put a lot of different types of paper through your printer, you know, heavier weighted paper. But see, now I have it back. Front, back, front, back. Okay, I'll toss that. So we'll do that. I'm going to do the same thing with the butter, the not butterfly, dragonfly. Um, I'm going to back this because I want it to be a little bit sturdier because we're going to pop this off the page. Um, I don't think Kim did that with hers, but I'm going to do it with mine. I want it to like be a little bit three-dimensional, a little bit. So I'm going to do it with this one too. So I'm just going to use this extra scrapbook paper that I had, just random scrapbook paper. Grab my cutter B. Now this one, I think I'm gonna do a little border around it. I think, just like a little bit. It'll make it easier to cut. Plus it's gonna be white on the back anyway, so it, you know, I just, I want some of this paper to show. Now it's easier to cut out like that, and then I can go in and do a little bit. This will also make the dragonfly a little bit bigger. Give it a little bit more of a presence on the page, I guess. But again, thank you all so much for sticking with me all these years. Um, I started this channel just, you know, for me, for the fun of it. And I've had some really loyal viewers. I appreciate that. Thank you all so much. Um, I am saying that because I'm not sure, I told you all in my last video, I have an opportunity to do another job to change careers. Um, and I've been thinking about it a lot. I've been doing a lot of research, thinking about it. If I do decide to do that, my videos are definitely going to be a lot fewer and farther between if, if, if I even continue. I mean, I'm hoping. I mean, I don't ever want to stop. Bible journaling, so, you know, or junk journaling or any of that, but I'm going to have a lot, lot, lot less free time. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do, but if I do do this career move, um, I really appreciate y'all sticking with me and crafting with me through these years, but I'll let you know. I mean, I'm not sure yet. And, you know, like I said, even if I do do this career move, I'm hoping to still do videos and such. It just might not be as often as like once a week or once every other week or whatever it might even be more sporadic than it's been i'm not sure not sure y'all we'll have to see okay so let's bring this back okay now i have the tim holtz um tissue paper and i have this one or this one i'm thinking i'm kind of liking these numbers and these letters and such. I'm going to tear some of this tissue paper and I'm going to add these on top. 
top and in some some areas I think. I do like this. So I know this is the Tim Holtz tissue paper. I don't know, I'm just kind of trying things out right now, seeing how it works for me. Let's put that one there. That one up there, perhaps. Again, a lot of this I think is going to get covered. I mean, oops, really tore that. I think a lot of this is going to get covered anyways, but we'll see. We'll see. It's still fun doing it. Okay, where did my, oh, <laughs> where did my water go? Where I moved it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all, you're all probably like, uh, we know exactly where your water is. Duh. Duh. And I like that these colors are going to shine through or show through, not shine through, but show through the paper. As y'all can probably hear, my stomach is growling again because it's Pavlov's dog. It knows I'm on camera, so let's start growling. It's time to be hungry, even though I literally just ate, <laughs> just ate lunch. So anyways, um, talking to y'all, is there something that you would like to see? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I know I hardly ever ask y'all that. Um, but yeah, let me know if there's something in particular that you'd like to see me do um and i will try to do it for y'all that's already sticking so we'll just kind of leave it there stick it down some more and again the more you wet the page the more translucent it'll be, these colors will shine through. I kind of like that. Kind of looks like you stamped on top of these colors, these pictures, or these napkins. And as you can see, I am literally just slopping this stuff on. You don't have to be so precise. Oh, we're almost out. This will probably do it for the last page for this uh, gesso that I've used, but you know what? This gesso has lasted me a long time. I'm very pleasantly surprised with it. I mean, I don't use it like all that much, but I did prep all my pages with it. I crafted with it. So this gesso I got, it's Art Basics Clear Gesso. This I got as a two pack on Amazon and just had it delivered. So for those of you looking for a good gesso or you can go to Michael's I used to get my gesso from Michael's but then at one point um I think they ran out of the gesso I was looking for and I couldn't find it so then I just went on Amazon and started using this one and I really like it so now it's my new favorite gesso 
It's clear, it dries pretty quickly. It's easy to use. Oops, we'll just show them back there. Okay. I'm going a little too fast now. It's just kind of. Okay. I'm trying to get all <laughs> my use out of this. I don't want to have to go open a new one. I have another jar over here, but if I can help it, I don't want to open it. And if I'm lucky, I don't think I will have to. We'll see. Watch, I'll do the very last thing. I'm like, oh, I need some more. Look at that. Cool. Looks like we stamped on there. Okay. Put that over. Now let's try this. Page is getting full. Thank you. So again, we are going to cover a lot of this. We're going to push a lot of it to the background with some white acrylic paint. So I'm going to paint that good. That part was not just so down. Let's. I'm going to get underneath there so it sticks. I just bent it under. There we go. There we go. Okay. Always stick your brush if he has gesso on it in water because the gesso will dry hard on your brush. I use the same brush over and over. It's a really old, crappy brush I had um, that has been, you know, used with all my gesso. So I don't mind if it gets all crusty and all that. But if you have a nice brush, you definitely want to rinse that gesso out. Okay. Hopefully. Well, I got happy. I can't really paint on this until it's dry. Sorry, y'all. Let's get this going. In the meantime, I'm going to look for a bigger brush here that I can use. I just keep it this brush. I'm going to use this brush with my white acrylic paint. You can use anything. You can use white gesso as well, which I usually use. I just had my acrylic paint out, so I'm going to use that today. Hopefully, hopefully that'll work. Okay, so let's shake this up. This is just white acrylic paint. I'm gonna put it here on my um, little board. Dip my brush in, and I am just gonna dry brush this. So I'm pushing these colors to the back. Not all of them, but we do want we don't want everything, to, we want it to not be so dark. Otherwise our picture will not show up. Just back and forth. Again, dry brushing, it's gonna give it that kind of frayed look. And if you do too much, go in, rub it off. Actually, I'm gonna grab a towel. I want more of that to show through. So I'm gonna scrape that off. Now, if you 
can play it back. You could see the before and after the tape on the video, how that pushed it back into the background. See, now these will stand out more versus like if I left the colors, those probably wouldn't have stood out as much. Okay, I'm gonna go in now and then do a couple even just brighter white areas. Just a few, okay, and wash that. Okay, so let's try that. Now you're getting a lot of texture on your page from your napkin decoupage, plus the layers you did, plus all the different paints with the dry brushing. I'm getting all these kind of like textures on here. Now Kim, she did like a plastic piece, like a grid. So if you want to add in your background, like you can add burlap or ribbon or lace or doilies or whatever you want. And you can add a ton more texture and paint over that if you want. We're going to be using some cheesecloth. Um, can use that as well. And then the other thing I'm going to use, since we have some bright colors going on, I bought these pearlescent acrylic paint tubes um, from our, if you watched my um, Hobby Lobby haul. And we are going to be using this bright pink and this bright blue. And so this is pearlescent um, acrylic paint tube. So let's see what it looks like. I've never used these yet. Haven't used them yet, so let's use them. Um, so I think I might even have to open them. Let's see, are they ready? Oh, yeah, see, I'm gonna have to open them, which I should have done ahead of time because I am horrible at these things without making a mess. Oh, there we go. I'm just gonna put a little bit, ooh, <gasps> ooh. Love it. You can see a shimmer and shine. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but you definitely can see it. So this is going to give like some really cool shine to the page. Of course, y'all know me. Got to have some shimmer, shimmer and shine. Just a little bit. I mean, I don't have to in all my pages, but it seems like probably 90% of my pages I do. Ooh, look at that, y'all. Ooh. Love it. That's more like a neon pink. Okay. I don't know if y'all can see that. See it in the light? different shimmer. So I'm going to take my palette knife and I'm going to go in now just with the blue and I'm going to go in and we're just going to scrape it across the page in different spots. Again, more texture, different kind of look. this page. Whoop. Whoa, caught it. <laughs> Good catch. And I'm just going to use up that just the leftover of this. Blue. Let's get it going down here and over here. And there we go with that. And let's do the same thing with the pink. Oh, did you guys see that spider going across? <laughs> Just blew them off. Get off my paper. Ooh, yes, this is some neon pink. I am not sure if I like the neon as much. I was kind of hoping it would be more of a deeper pink because I have like these deep pinks, but we'll, we'll add a little bit, just a little. is going to give it some shimmer. Just 
just some touches here or there. Okay, I think that is that. Let's try that real quick. Again, see all the layers and most of the layers you can't see. They're way in the back, like those, um, these you can barely see, but they're noticeable in certain spots, just not all over the place. And I can see the circles coming through in different spots, right there. Definitely some neon pink. You can see it. I don't think see it in the light. Shimmer and shine. It's definitely adding a shine to the page. So let me see what page is looking like. I do have this white acrylic. I wonder what this one would look like. This white pearl. It might just be pearly, not white. Let's let's try it and see. See if it's gonna do something. It's like a silvery white. We can add some and see how it works. Let me put these back in. Okay. not white per se I mean I guess it is it's kind of like a silvery I'm gonna add a little bit just adding another sheen to this so again I'm pushing these colors back some of those colors back and adding some sheen to the page Definitely catching the light. Can you see that? Ooh, my page feels so thick now. All these layers. This page, this side, I was only going to do a little bit, and now it just keeps adding more and more. So, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> I always keep adding more, y'all. We all know that. Like, stop already, stop. Okay, next thing we're going to do is just start really assembling the page, I guess. Well, actually, no, I forgot one other thing. This has to be dry before I can add it, though. Hang on. Let's make sure. I do have these rub-ons. And so I am going, I wanted to add a little bit of this. Um, let's see if it didn't come off. Remember last time? It didn't come off. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, some of it's not coming off. But I want to add just some of this. Let's just see what it looks like. Ooh. Let's just add a little first, and we'll see if it's... Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I kind of like that. It's a little dark, so you got to be careful. So let's... Let's do... Just a little bit here or there. Ooh, 
I am liking it. I am liking it. See, I'm just haphazardly just sticking it in a variety of places. Stick that one there since I have it. Stick this one up here. And then if for some reason it gets on your page and you don't want it there, like that one is fine. This one was on my verse. I'm just gonna scrape it up. I don't want it there. I'm good as new. Okay, let's see. Hmm. We'll add one coming up like this. Oop. <laughs> no, don't want all that. Okay, there we go. And then maybe a little bit just coming right here. And these you can just tear off. Or they'll stick to the page. Oh, yeah, make sure my pages are coming off here. Okay, got that. And it looks like we need just a little bit up here. Just like so. And there we go. The rest of this I'll use for something else. Move that to the side. Ooh, I love that. Okay, now let's assemble the page, y'all. Yahoo! <laughs> okay, so I have these circles from Kim. On his palette so I'm thinking like this like this now again if you want the page to be pushed back more if this is too much color you can you know paint over it and really push the color back but I actually like it so I'm gonna leave it um, this is gonna be my my little page which I might put down here it's gonna kind of be like a little page tag with my dragonfly this guy is going to be maybe like the one like that this guy's gonna be here okay so let's grab some of the cheesecloth let me move all this okay so I'm gonna do what Kimberly did I'm gonna take my cheesecloth you can get these at any store, Walmart, Amazon, anywhere. Um, it's called cheesecloth. You can get them in different um, weaves, like a thick we thicker weave, a thinner weave, whatever. And see, it comes like in, um, layers, or it's all folded into layers. So I'm thinking we'll put this down stretch it out play with it put that down okay so let's glue these things I'm gonna grab my glitter glue the reason why I'm glad grabbing this glue is it's gonna hopefully well we'll see if it works come on maybe not maybe I'll have to do my glue stick dry it hang on let me grab my oh my little trusty poker <laughs> i've got this <laughs> this is i've been using this for years it's a uh deconstructed uh oh, there we go deconstructed uh paper clip that i use to poke holes and stuff going all the way down. I've got to squeeze it out. Come on. Once it gets going, it'll go. There we go. Let's put that one right there. Put that one right there. Right a little 
closer to it. And on her freebie, there were three circles. I just uh, took them and resized them. So I did the one size and then I um, copied and pasted. Like I have an art program on my computer. I can copy and paste and then um, just resized it, like shrunk them a little. So I had different sizes. So I just kind of fooled around with them. So you can do that, I think, if you have that program or just print them out a couple times. Okay, so this one I'm going to use my glue stick and just, oops, which my glue stick is almost. Okay, let's get another one. Oh, we're not everything, y'all. Oh, where are my glue sticks at? Okay, voila, another one. These I get from Amazon um, or Sam's, the bulk. I get like a big container of these, like 12 or 24 or whatever it is. Now I'm just gonna kind of, Push that up. Okay. Now, here is my dragonfly, but I am going to pop it, pop dot it. So I have these little whoop, pieces. <laughs> okay, had these pieces. Let me see. There we go. They're like little honeycomb pieces. I have pop dots as well. Okay, I'm throwing that one away because it's not sticky. But I just grabbed these out of my drawer. They were honeycomb. They come in all different shapes and sizes and what have you. But I'm putting it in the little different areas. So because this is, I want it to kind of pop off the page. Be a little 3D-ish. So I'm trying to get all the exterior parts. Okay, now let's Take the backings off these. Okay, come on. Okay. Oh, ooh, stop. Before I do that, she also used thread, which I thought was a really cute idea. I got this thread from either Amazon or AliExpress. It's this really cool rainbowy thread. I thought that would go perfect with this. So I can sew with this as well um, and do like different things. So I'm going to like kind of wrap it around my fingers like so. And then kind of bunch it up in a way if I can I put some glue down here in the middle kind of haphazardly I don't want this end I want it stuck in the middle I don't want any ends sticking out. So let's stick that in the middle. So hopefully. Ta-da! The little thread is sticking out. Isn't that cute? That was such a good idea. Thanks, Kim. Great idea. Oop, I forgot this guy's going to go back here. Suck back there. So let's glue this guy. No. Ah. This is almost all the way glued down already. There we go. Tuck him down. So I also want to put a little bit of cheesecloth. So where's my little piece? I'm going to do a little bit of cheesecloth behind this one and some thread. Just a little. 
So this one's gonna glue here. So I'm gonna put some glue on this side right here. So it's kind of like a tab off the page. I'm gonna do the cheesecloth, stick it under there. And then again, I'm gonna wrap this around my fingers. Kind of just haphazardly bunch it up. Well, here we'll go like this. We'll put some glue, just some glue dots in different areas, and then we'll stick this. Let's just kind of trying to stick it in the glue. want it sticking up in spots. It's fun getting my hands all messy. Again, as usual. <laughs> I love this purple one. So I'm gonna have that kind of tuck that there. I'm gonna tuck it under this. And that'll be kind of like a little loop-de-loop -loop right there. And then I like having the cheesecloth sticking out here, here, having the string sticking out. Love it. Oh my gosh, y'all. So fun. Okay. Am I only on camera for now? Okay. Let's do this side. So same thing. I'm going to have this as a like a little tab on this side, I think. And let's, this guy's going to be going right there. Cause he was cut off on my page too. See, he was cut off, poor little wing, but he'll be coming off the page. Again, I've told you all before, when you have things coming off the page like that, it looks like your page continues. And then this one I'm gonna have up here. And then same thing here, except for these now, where's my paper? I'm going to glue these to the back here. Where am I? So then they'll be strengthened as well as have a backing because right now their backing is white. I mean, you can leave them white, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal, but you know, this is a great way to strengthen your little tabs as well as give some color on the other side. So when your when your Bible's closed or you're looking on the other, you know, looking from the back or you turn your Bible around or whatever, you've got color on the other side as well. But this helps so that these don't get so bent either when you're flipping pages and such. See, and look at that. Then you got a bright color on the other side. Let's just cut this off, cut this off. Put that to the side. I could use that for something else. How much time we have? Okay. <laughs> We're getting there. Always adding more, y'all. Y'all know that. Okay, garbage, garbage. I like that. Let's do a little bit of cheesecloth. This one I did not back, but I don't think I need to. So, cheesecloth. Where's my little piece? Here's a little piece. So, I'm going to glue this. About halfway. It's going to fit right here in this little dip here of these words and then I'm gonna glue this one probably three quarters of the way and just have a little bit of it peeping off but I also want the cheesecloth 
let's cut some of this off we don't need all that glue stick I like the glue stick because then I can just scrub it everywhere and then this will just stick I'm gonna spread this cheesecloth out stretch it apart have some hanging off the page hanging off this side And then this one will kind of go right about there. I'm not gonna have this one pop, I'm just gonna. Oh, and I guess we could put some string. Let's put some string. That should be good. It just adds like like little flight motions, you know, of the dragonfly or butterflies or whatever I like putting string it makes it look like you know movement on your page let's do the end stick that in the middle and then stick the ends in the middle you don't have to you can have the end hanging off and out if you want um, and then this is going to glue it down and hold it hold a lot of the string right there oof love it okay i got pieces everywhere okay let's kind of clean up uh last thing and i'm not sure if i want to add these but i brought these out just in case I have these little pop dot, little dots. Let's see. I got these from the dollar store a while back. I mean, I'm sure if you've been watching me, you've seen me get these. And look, barely, well, this one, not even used. Barely use this one. I like this blue. Let's see if we can maybe add some of these little circles. Um, got green, too. Can I add the green? Right up there. This isn't really bright pink too much. I mean, I guess it does a little. And then let's do some of these little ones. I just keep adding more, y'all. Of course, there's some bright pink. That one. I should put blue there. Let's put a blue one there. And we'll put hmm, pink there. Let me think. Do you want any more big ones, little ones? Do a little, little green on this side. Oh, that should be good. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll just keep adding stuff. Well, there we go, y'all. There is our page. Oh, wait, no, title. Duh, title. I have these stickers. <laughs> Super easy. Wisdom, first word here, and that is the word that I am focusing on. I don't remember where I got these stickers from, y'all. What is this? This is spottedcanary.com. K and C Company or K and Company, so probably from Michael's or someplace um, or craft store. But it says wisdom, and I'm literally going to just put it right under here and there's our title oh and if you feel it it's raised kind of like a typewriter oh that's cool it's raised it kind of fades into the background here but hey that's okay wisdom needs to be searched out wisdom needs to be found wisdom needs to be 
discovered. I kind of like that. Huh. Well, this page turned out nothing like I was expecting. Nothing like Kim's either. <laughs> but it it's cool. It, I like it. It's It turned out fun. It was fun. And feeling the page. Oh, it feels just thick. It feels great. And then here are the tabs, the back of the tabs. So when you're looking at your Bible closed or you flip it over like this, this is what you see both ways. So it's color on both sides. That's what I like. <gasps> Ooh, there we go, y'all. <laughs> that was fun. Well, let me bring it up close. Sorry, it ended up into two videos again. Oh, me and my technology. But look how when the light hits these colors, there's that pearly white, pearly blue, pearly pink. Um, and then you got these little pop dot stickers. So you got different shimmer and shine when it hits. And then look at, look at the thread. Love that. Thanks for that idea, Cam. That was great. I loved that. I've done it before. And you know, when you do things and you forget, you kind of forget what you've done in the past and you kind of get in a routine. So sometimes it's fun to watch other people and bring those ideas back. It's like, oh yeah, we could be adding so many things like cheesecloth or thread or whatever to your page. So there we go. That's the page up close. Wisdom. And we are in Job using uh, his palette, Dragonflies and the Freebies for the month. Um, so Job 12, verses 12 and 13. Wisdom is with the aged and understanding and length of days. With God are wisdom and might. He has counsel and understanding. So I pray, Lord, give me your wisdom. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to be doing in the next stage of my life. I need some wisdom, Lord. Um, and let us appreciate the older people in our lives and the older people in society. And let's not, it's not all about the youth, y'all. We need to appreciate the aged and the people who have wisdom and who have life experience. And we need to learn from them because y'all know my mom passed away this past year. Um, my my mother-in-law passed away before that. My father-in-law passed away. So we, we've had a lot of deaths in the family that just this past year and it's been, you know, like sometimes uh, we think about like, oh, I wish we could have asked them one more thing or I wish I, I could have written down her life story or whatever it may be. So take advantage of the people around you and learn from them, you know, because they do have a lot of wisdom. Well, thank you all so much for joining me. I will see you next time. Have a blessed week. Bye, y'all.